The Coalition is standing up for small businesses, farmers and consumers by ensuring stronger penalties for anti-competitive behaviour in our supermarket sector, including divestiture powers for our worst misconduct. Prime Minister, these actions are in line with comments made earlier this year by the Chair of the ACCC, Gina Cascott-Lieb, who said divestiture powers would be useful to have in the toolkit. When will the Prime Minister show leadership and join the Coalition in supporting a fairer deal for families and farmers at the checkout? Yeah. Call to the Prime Minister. Thanks very much. I thank the member for Groom very much for the opportunity to have a second crack at this, uh, at, at this issue, Mr Speaker. And there are 70,000 of the member for Groom's constituents will benefit from a tax cut this, this, this Monday, this Monday as a result. And I hope that the member for Groom has told them that they oppose it, and I hope as well that he goes out there and spruiks this divestiture policy. Uh, that was not so much announced but slipped out by the Leader of the Opposition uh, yesterday uh, in, a, in a way in which there was then absolutely no fault. did a stand-up, he did, before question time, then came in here and didn't ask a single question about it, and nor has he today. But the Member for, Groom, the member for Groom will never say no to an opportunity. The fact, is, the fact is that this is a model that will lead to higher prices. I'm not sure who they think will buy a Woolworths or a Coles if they're forced to sell in a local community except each other, except each other. And that is why it is such an impractical plan. I said before, Mr Speaker, uh, that it has been quite a journey for the Liberal Party of Menzies to go from trying to ban the Communist Party to trying to implement, implement state ownership of both supermarkets and also our energy sector, uh, you can imagine, you can imagine, Mr. Speaker, uh, how they'll go during the election campaign. Seize the means of production, they'll be out there saying, Mr. Speaker. Seize the means of electricity production. When it comes to energy, socialism in our half lifetime. When it comes to nuclear reactors, Mr. Speaker. That will be the slogan that they have. At the next election, it won't be so much a three-year plan, it'll be a five-year plan, uh, because the National Party have completely taken over the agenda over there, as, as the Minister for Order, Energy has said. Right. There is no credible, no credible argument for this policy. It began as a policy from the Greens political party on economic policy. They were in government for a decade and never did it. They wouldn't even mandate the voluntary code of conduct. So they've gone from having a voluntary code Order, written my right. by the supermarkets themselves into potentially nationalising those supermarkets in just two years. And in between time, the seamless segue that occurred prior to Australia Order. Day of the Leader of the Opposition wanting Woolies boycotted over what thongs they sold. 